if you're somebody that's in the market for a webcam but you don't want to waste your money buying a microphone that may or may not give you decent quality for whenever you're live streaming then don't worry because in this video i'm actually going to show you how you can turn your smartphone whether that's an android or an iphone into a webcam fit for streaming 100 percent for free okay so jumping straight into the video the very first thing you want to do is go into your app store that's on your phone and you want to look for camo camera now once you find it it's going to look just like this and you're going to install it now once you have the app installed on your phone you then want to head on over to your pc and you want to download the studio version of the application and i'm going to make sure that i have a link down in the description below so that we can go directly to this page now once you click this option that says download and you download it onto your pc you then need to open up the application both on your pc as well as on your cell phone and it should look exactly like this and so what you're going to do from here on your phone is that you need to give permissions for the application to access not only your microphone but also your camera and once you do that you'll be met with this particular screen right here which basically is going to tell you ways on how you can connect this application to your computer so the very first way is a wireless connection which it has this wi-fi logo right here and then alternatively you will have the option to either plug your phone in by usb port for a wired connection so you have two different connections a wireless and a wired connection now if you're going to be doing a wired connection then the only thing you have to do is just plug your phone into your pc and you will automatically be able to see yourself inside of the studio application but if you are doing a wireless connection then what you're going to want to do is on your cell phone you want to click on the wi-fi symbol that's going to bring up the actual camera so you can scan a qr code now on your pc you need to come and click on the plus icon at the top it's then going to bring up the qr code for you to be able to scan and you're going to take your phone and you're just going to scan it and it's automatically going to bring up your phone so you can now see that i am moving my phone around i am being able to actually see everything that i'm doing and so now you should be able to see yourself inside of the application now inside this application you have the ability to change a lot of things so if you don't want this particular symbol right here you can scroll down where it says scenes and watermarks and you can change that so you have a different options that you can choose you can do grid or if you just want to be blank you can do something like this it puts a little bit of dark coloring on the borders but you could do this or you can do like a, a filter or you can create your own scene so you have a lot of options as to what you can do inside this application now you can also change your white balance your temperatures um, anything that you want to change you can actually go ahead and do so and then what you can also do is change your frame rate now the free version of this application gives you the option to do 720p 60 fps but if you decide to get the pro version you have the option to do 4k you can do 1080p and then obviously still 60 frames per second you can also do like a blur effect so you can like change your blur like your focus you can also change the zoom you can drag as to like where you want the camera to be at and so it's a lot that you can actually do inside of the application so now that you have your phone connected to your pc we're going to go ahead and add it inside of obs studios so what you're going to want to do is come right here to your sources click on the plus icon you want to then add a video capture device from here you can name this whatever you want i'm going to go ahead and do camera 2. you are then going to change the device type to camo and you will see that i am now officially in the preview you want to make sure that your resolution fps type is set to default if you have it set to anything else it is not going to work so make sure that it's set to default and you're now officially good to go to start streaming the moon 
and so there you have it that is how you're able to use your cell phone as a webcam for live streaming now if you want to be able to add your audio from your cell phone into obs then what you can do is you can come inside of your sources you can then click on the plus icon and then you can just go to audio input capture and you can then name this whatever you want and all you have to do is just add in the camo microphone and this is going to utilize your cell phone's audio for whenever you're speaking so that way your stream can hear you and so with that being said that is going to be all for today's video now if you learned something new or if you found this helpful make sure you give this a big fat thumbs up make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well as turning on post notifications so that way you do not miss a single video that gets posted up on this channel and in case if you want to know what the best settings are for live streaming make sure you click on this video right here and i'll show you how you can do that with streamlabs obs